Topic: <laughs> Projected effects. Several effects of global warming, including steady sea level rise, increased cyclonic activity, and changes in ambient temperature and precipitation patterns, have affected or are projected to affect the subcontinent. As per the IPCC, depending upon the scenario visualized, the projected global average surface warming will result in temperature increases worldwide at the end of the 21st century relative to the end of the 20th century ranges from 0.6 to 4 degrees Celsius. Regarding local temperature rises, the IPCC figure projected for the mean annual increase in temperature by the end of the century in South Asia is 3.3 degrees Celsius, with the min max range as 2.7 to 4.7 degrees Celsius. The mean value for Tibet would be higher with mean increase of 3.8 degrees Celsius and min max figures of 2.6 and 6.1 degrees Celsius respectively which implies harsher warming conditions for the Himalayan watersheds. <laughs> Rise in sea level The corresponding sea level rise at the end of the 21st century relative to the end of the 20th century ranges from 0.18 to 0.59 meters excluding any rapid dynamical changes in ice flows in the future. More recent analysis of a number of semi-empirical models predict a sea level rise of about 1 meter by the year 2100. Ongoing sea level rises have already submerged several low-lying islands in the Sundarbans, displacing thousands of people. Temperature rises on the Tibetan Plateau, which are causing Himalayan glaciers to retreat. It has been predicted that the historical city of Thatta and Baden, in Sindh, Pakistan would have been swallowed by the sea by 2025, as the sea is already encroaching 80 acres of land here, every day. <laughs> Observed changes in the natural and human environment Environmental Increased landslides and flooding are projected to have an impact upon states such as Assam. Ecological disasters, such as a 1998 coral bleaching event that killed off more than 70% of corals in the reef ecosystems off Lakshadweep and the Andamans, and was brought on by elevated ocean temperatures tied to global warming, are also projected to become increasingly common. The first among the countries to be affected by severe climate change is Bangladesh. Its sea level, temperature, and evaporation are increasing, and the changes in precipitation and cross boundary river flows are already beginning to cause drainage congestion. There is a reduction in fresh water availability, disturbance of morphologic processes and a higher intensity of flooding and other such disasters. Bangladesh only contributes 0.1% of the world's emissions yet it has 2.4% of the world's population. In contrast, the United States makes up about 5% of the world's population, yet they produce approximately 25% of the pollution that causes global warming. Economic India has the world's highest social cost of carbon. The Indira Gandhi Institute of Development Research has reported that, if the predictions relating to global warming made by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change come to fruition, climate related factors could cause India's GDP to decline by up to 9%. Contributing to this would be shifting growing seasons for major crops such as rice, production of which could fall by 40%. Around 7 million people are projected to be displaced due to, among other factors, submersion of parts of Mumbai and Chennai. If global temperatures were to rise by a mere 2 degrees Celsius (3.6 degrees Fahrenheit), villagers in India's northeastern state of Meghalaya are also concerned that rising sea levels will submerge neighboring low-lying Bangladesh, resulting in an influx of refugees into Meghalaya, which has few resources to handle such a situation. If severe climate changes occur, Bangladesh will lose land along the coastline. This will be highly damaging to Bangladeshis especially because nearly two-thirds of Bangladeshis are employed in the agriculture sector, with rice as the single most important product. The economy has grown 5–6% over the past few years despite inefficient state-owned enterprises, delays in exploiting natural gas resources insufficient power supplies, and slow implementation of economic reforms. However, Bangladesh remains a poor, overpopulated, and inefficiently governed nation. 
If no further steps are taken to improve the current conditions, global warming will affect the economy, severely worsening the present issues further. The climate change would increase expenditure towards health care, cool drinks, alcoholic beverages, air conditioners, ice cream, cosmetics, agrochemicals, etc. Social Climate change in India and Pakistan will have a disproportionate impact on the more than 400 million that make up India's poor. This is because so many depend on natural resources for their food, shelter and income. More than 56% of people in India work in agriculture, while in Pakistan 43 care of, of its population work in agriculture while many others earn their living in coastal areas. Pollution Thick haze and smoke, originating from burning biomass in northeastern India and air pollution from large industrial cities in northern India, often concentrate inside the Ganges basin. Prevailing westerlies carry aerosols along the southern margins of the steep faced Tibetan plateau to eastern India and the Bay of Bengal. Dust and black carbon, which are blown towards higher altitudes by winds at the southern faces of the Himalayas, can absorb shortwave radiation and heat the air over the Tibetan Plateau. The net atmospheric heating due to aerosol absorption causes the air to warm and convect upwards, increasing the concentration of moisture in the mid-troposphere and providing positive feedback that stimulates further heating of aerosols. Pollution of mercury in India is shocking. The environment is being packed with approximately 70 tons of mercury per year by existing mercury cell plants. One gram of mercury is sufficient to pollute a lake of surface area of around 20 acres that would harm the fish which as a result would be dangerous to consume. Topic awareness Indian and Pakistani media can contribute to increased awareness of climate change and related issues. A qualitative analysis of some mainstream Indian newspapers particularly opinion and editorial pieces during the release of the IPCC Fourth Assessment Report and during the Nobel Peace Prize win by Al Gore and the IPCC found that Indian media strongly pursue the frame of scientific certainty in their coverage of climate change. This is in contrast to the skepticism displayed by American newspapers at the time. Alongside, Indian media highlight frames of energy challenge, social progress, public accountability and looming disaster. This sort of coverage finds parallels in European media narratives as well and helps build a transnational, globalised discourse on climate change. Another study has found that the media in India are divided along the lines of a north-south, risk-responsibility discourse. However, much more research is required to analyze Indian media's role in shaping public perceptions on climate change. Tribal people in India's remote northeast plan to honor former U.S. Vice President Al Gore with an award for promoting awareness on climate change that they say will have a devastating impact on their homeland. Meghalaya meaning abode of the clouds in Hindi, is home to the towns of Cherrapunji and Masinram, which are credited with being the wettest places in the world due to their high rainfall. But scientists state that global climate change is causing these areas to experience an increasingly sparse and erratic rainfall pattern and a lengthened dry season, affecting the livelihoods of thousands of villagers who cultivate paddy and maize. Some areas are also facing water shortages. People are becoming aware of ills of global warming. Taking initiative on their own people from Sangamner, Maharashtra near Shirdi, have started a campaign of planting trees known as Dandakaranya the Green Movement. It was started by visionary and ace freedom fighter the late Sri Bausaheb Thorat in the year 2005. To date, they have sowed more than 12 million seeds and planted half a million plants. According to data from 2009 India is the world's third biggest emitter of CO2 after China and the United States, pushing Russia into fourth place. See also Environment of India Climate change in China Asian brown cloud Indian Network on Climate Change Assessment